This is the XPy Zero, a microcomputer that is capable of doing almost anything that a normal sized computer does, but at a small fraction of the size. Now, this is an alternative to the well known Raspberry Pi Zero, which consumes only 2 watts, but here we have a lot more performance. If we compare with the Raspberry Pi Zero, which has one single core at 1 GHz and 512 megabytes of RAM, no storage. Right over here, we have 2 GB of RAM, 8 GB of flash storage, and a quad core CPU Rockship 3566 at 1.8 GHz. So, a lot more performance. And there is another configuration I will leave the link down below. If you want more storage and more RAM, it is available. So, what can we do with this? If we want to browse the web, if we want to have Office or LibreOffice, which was the one that I did install with Word, Excel and so on and so forth. And if we want to use a little bit more advanced features like Home Assistant and other Home Lab server apps, we can. The price is roughly 45 US dollars, 45 euros for this configuration right over here. And for the most expensive one, roughly 65 euros US dollars. So an interesting price point for the performance that we get out of this microcomputer. By the way, if you are using a Windows 11 or 10 computer, which you will need if you want to replace the operating system of the XPy Zero and you still haven't activated, don't forget to check out KeysFan where you can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get a bit cheaper so just in case link will be down below just next to the XPy Zero. Let's take a look at the packaging which is really simple we will find inside the pack this SOC port all in one a power adapter and the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna. It has a mini HDMI output, two USB-C ports, one for connecting the power adapter and the other one to connect the peripherals like a mouse, a keyboard and so on. At the back there are two buttons, one for power on and off and a reset switch. The CPU is the Rockship 3566 quad core at 1.8 GHz, 2 GB of RAM and 8 GB of storage with the option to have 4 GB of RAM and 32 of storage and if you are going to install a lot of apps I would suggest to go to the version that has 32 gigabytes of internal storage now I did play around with Debian 11 which is the operating system that comes installed it works really really well I did play around with LibreOffice for those that are not used to install any app on Linux, don't be scared. It's easy, everything is available on the web. Even if you don't know, just search around and then you will copy a line of code and that is it, we will have LibOffice. I did also play around with multimedia content. I did play videos on YouTube and although we can play up to 4K and I did get a great experience with the image on my desktop at 4K, I had some glitches with YouTube at 4K. So just have that in mind was the only issue that I had. On the other hand, I wouldn't get the XPy Zero for this type of content. I would prefer to have on a desktop style where I can use LibOffice, search the web and do homework, for example. And at the same time, at the background, have Home Assistant or any other server side operation going at the back so that I can take full advantage of this microcomputer. One of the examples that I can share with you and that it's my favorite, not only on the X but on any Linux distribution is the Snap Store that we can then install many apps. Now, my way of installing is just using the command line and just copy and paste on the terminal and that is it. In a few seconds, we will have a software available, the app that we want. The only limitation that we might have on this microcomputer, along with other microcomputers that we see available, is that it has a ARM CPU and some apps are designed for Intel or IMD platforms. So that's the only limitation that we can find. Now, for example, Home Assistant. If you are wondering if you can install Home Assistant, run it on a background and at the same time use it as your multimedia device or your homework computer for your kids, then you totally can and it's really, really easy. Actually, I will share a video on that because I've installed Home Assistant on a lot of devices, including the Raspberry Pi and so on and so forth, but I haven't installed this way with the Snap Store on 
Debian. So I will share that with you, but we just need to copy a few lines of code and in a three minute or four minute installation, we are ready to do it. But if you want a more detailed video around the Home Assistant installation, check the link down below for the video that I recorded installing Home Assistant on the XPy. Zero. That being said, hope that you enjoyed the video. Hope that you enjoyed to know a little bit more about the XPy Zero, a great microcomputer. And this one is actually the most powerful one that I've tested so far at this size, which is just awesome. If that was the case, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.